Hello and greetings from Austria. It's little Sheldon and me again, back for another chicken special. Today it's all about Bantam breeds. In the first part of this video, I want to show you five breeds which are very popular. Don't miss the second part, because in the second part there are also some very rare breeds included. Thank you very much for watching this and all the best wishes for you and your poultry. Well, summer chickens are among the best free-range foragers of all layers. They lay a big number of large reddish-brown eggs and do have a natural look with color patterns very close to those of wild jungle fowl. The Bantam type of the well summer is also a perfect utility breed and it lays very big eggs too, especially for such a small bird. The colorful Valsamer roosters are also popular in mixed flocks, because they represent the perfect dunghill roosters from bygone days. In our days, Valsamer chickens and also their Bantam variety are popular in many countries of the world. But originally, they were first developed in a very small country from Europe, Holland, better known as the Netherlands. There the breed was developed about a hundred years ago. They are named after the small village of Walsum, which is spelled with only one M. So the spelling Walsama with a double M is actually a misspelled version, but it has established well. In this mixed flock of Bantam chickens you may also recognize a Bantam vine dodge rooster. And this is our next in the ranking. Why and dot bantams are well known birds because they are always a good choice for the novice. It's safe to say that they belong to the group of no nonsense chickens, but it's in fact their breediness what makes them so popular. The silver laced Wyandot was the first plumage color variety when they were first developed in the late 19th century. But now in our days they are also known in many other different color patterns and varieties. Another beautiful and very popular color pattern in this breed is the Colombian one. These Colombian Wyandot hens are good mother hens. Thanks to their rose camp, Wyand Dot chickens are very mm. cold hardy. They are very docile backyard chickens and also highly recommended for self-sufficient persons. You will often find the information that the name Wyand Dot was given to these chickens because they were the common poultry of the Wyand Dots, which were once an important tribe of the Native Americans. But that's not true. The name Wyand Dot was given to these chickens in honor of a trading ship, which was owned by one of the first breeder's father. Below this half-grown Wyandot hen, you can recognize a few Cerama Bantams. The Cerama chicken is my next choice for the ranking. The Cerama is the first breed in my ranking, which belongs to the group of Jew Bantams. Jew Bantam, what does that mean? It means there is no bigger sized counterpart existing, as we know it for example in the case of the Versama Bantams and the Wyand Dot Bantams. The Cerama is said to be the smallest chicken breed in the world, and that is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, the smallest individuals are often very sensitive birds getting sick easily. So the Cerama chicks I show you here are not the smallest individuals existing in the population of this breed, but they are very healthy, vivid and robust. 
Have you noticed the huge diversity of plumage patterns, which is exemplary for the Ceramas? There are hundreds of different varieties existing, and they seldom breed due to color. The eggs of the Cerama hens are, as you can imagine, the smallest chicken eggs existing worldwide. They can vary a lot in color, from white to brown, but most times they show a very pale cream color. Cerama chickens do not need much space, so it's easy to build a comfortable home for them. These hen house may be a ballast for a small flock. There are many reasons for the big success of the Cerama breed in the last 20 years. They are fine beautiful pets, but do show all the chicken behavior which is typical for a normal sized chicken. I also think most Ceramas are surprisingly brave birds. No fear because of the presence of a dog. It's easy to fall in love with the lovely Ceramas. I know what I'm talking about because it did happen to me in the last year. The Brahma chicken is among the most popular poultry breeds in many countries of the world. It's named after the Brahmaputra, one of the biggest rivers of Asia which flows through China, India and Bangladesh. Maybe the ancestors of the breed did come from these countries, but without doubt the Brahma chicken in its modern appearance and also in its bantam variety has been developed in the USA. So Brahmas are actually a typical American chicken breed. The Brahma Bantams are one of the biggest Bantam breeds existing. As the big ones they are very calm and friendly birds. They look majestic with their feathered booted legs and the fluffy feathering often combined with the black Colombian color patterns gives them an attractive expression. Brahma Bantams don't lay a lot of eggs, but what may be interesting for you is the fact that some strains are good in winter production of brown eggs. One of my personal favorites of all chicken breeds is the Exchequer Leghorn and its gorgeous Bantam variety. What makes the Exchequer special is the spotted plumage pattern they show. Most chickens which are called spotted genetically only do have spotted feathers, but the Exchequer Leghorns do show a real type of the spotted pattern and so there are big black and white patches on their bodies, also called Bayet. You can compare the spired colorations with the color patterns of a painter's, but they also remind me a lot to the badges of a Holstein cow. As it is the case with all leghorns, the exchequer leghorns are very good egg layers. Unfortunately, they are very nervous birds and not the best breed for the novice. Beginners will have more fun with the four breeds I showed you before. Thank you for watching this video, sorry for my bad English, but please don't miss the second part of this video, because we need a winner.